you guys it is 5 40 a.m. and the thing about summer is it's bright and sunny pretty much bright and sunny the sun's still coming up um, it's not like hit full force yet but it's super bright and it's beautiful let me just show you the mountains are beautiful when the sun comes up the way they the way the sun hits the, the side of the mountains is just absolutely breathtaking to me <laughs> I absolutely love it um, but anyway, I'm headed to the camper. Um, you know, after it gets to be about 70 ish degrees, it starts getting kind of warm for me in there. And by eight o'clock, it's going to be 70. So I'm headed out early to get a couple hours of work in this morning. Yesterday, I bought pavers for the back stabilizers. So that's what I'll do when I get there is stabilize that back. And then the whole trailer will be stabilized. Won't have any bounce. Shouldn't have much bounce to it at all. Yesterday, me and Sean and Harrison did go in the morning as well. I did not record anything. Um, Sean cleaned the bedroom and the bathroom. Um, I think he, did he clean Harrison's room? I don't think he cleaned Harrison's room. So almost all the camper's been cleaned, wiped down um, pretty much. And the bathroom's been cleaned um, and everything else wiped down. Um, so, yeah, I painted, I finished the paper in the living room, um, and I, uh, painted the cabinets above the couch, and I got the Amazon package yesterday that has the rubber chair rail, I'll show that to you guys in a little bit, um, so I'll put the, uh, the trim up today, should really give it a finished look. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm tired. My body hurts like, like it hasn't in a long time. I'm just using muscles I'm not used to using. So anyway, we'll get there. But I'm going to take you guys along with me today, let you know what I'm doing, show you the small progresses that we're making. And in a few weeks, this will be our home. trailer I got the stabilizers down I meant to record that and I didn't I just took them out there and got them it's still a little wobbly so I might need to tighten it up just a little bit on all four corners because it's still a little bit more wobbly than I thought it would be but anyway I want to show you what I got on Amazon yesterday um, a few little things for our camper um, so like I knew I needed to trim because I'm not a perfect painter you know uh, there's just a lot of imperfections that can be covered up with trim I was like, but we don't have tools. We don't have power out here yet. Um, you'd have to go to Home Depot, have them cut, have some way to nail them. So I got to researching and I found this on Amazon. It comes in a roll and it's soft. It's like foam and it's trim and it's adhesive. And it's three inches wide. So it will cover a lot of mistakes. And I think it'll really add with the style that I have anyway. I think it will really add um, some flair. It literally is foam. You probably could paint it. It comes in different colors too, like black and gray and stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna try this out. You actually just cut it <laughs> whatever length you need. So if it looks good, I'm probably gonna be buying another roll of it and, and just put it everywhere. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna get started here pretty soon. But anyway, I got that off Amazon. I will leave the link below for that. If that's something that you like, don't have power tools and you don't have a way to do trim in a home or a, an RV 
that might be an option so I'll leave that for you and I think that you probably can get it in smaller I just wanted a big wide one um, for effect so I'll leave that link I also got some of these even though we're not moved in yet I went ahead and ordered them I knew I'd need them and they're just little um, little pods that you drop in your toilet we had those when we had the Airstream and they're for your holding tank they deodorize uh, so that it doesn't smell as bad and they help to break down the waste and the paper that you put in there and you have to buy RV paper which I already have ordered it'll be here sometime this week uh, it's not cheap but you have to use RV toilet paper in, a, in an RV because otherwise you'll have some serious clogs <laughs> but anyway so I got that and uh, oh I got this so we have a 30 amp plug that goes out from our RV but if you need to plug it into like just a regular extension cord or a generator or something for temporary shore power you need an adapter so I don't think this is this is heavy I think this was like 20 something dollars or something so yeah this is this goes from the cord that goes from the RV to this thing I don't know much about that stuff but <coughs> anyway those are a few things that I got um, you know, I have to be ordering some more stuff, but, um, but today we're going to play with this. So, let's see how it looks. Well, I uh, got the curtain up. I was debating whether to put, I took all the curtains throughout the whole trailer home and I washed everything. Um, took the shower curtain out and threw it away. I'll do my own shower curtain and it matches anyway with my theme. Uh, but I washed all the curtains, but uh, this wall is pretty much done. Um, 
And so I was like, well, I'll just add the curtain and see what it looks like. I debated not because we're still working in here, but I don't think that it's in the way of any work. I, I don't think it'll get anything on it. I was going to, like, originally I was like, oh, yeah, I'll get all new curtains. And then I was like, uh, we're on a kind of a tight budget right now until we get moved. So I was like, uh, there's no reason I can't keep these curtains. They are uh, white, but they are um, blackout curtains. They do have a lining in the back. Um, so I think they'll be okay until we get down the road a little bit. Not a priority right now to change those out. Eventually, I probably will, but it's not ne necessity right now. So I got that done, and then I went over, and um, the last thing I'm going to do before I leave for the morning is the closet that's in front of the bathroom. Um, I um, puttied the hole that I'm not going to use for the door pull, and um, I'm waiting a few minutes for that, and then I'm going to paint the entire, um, just like I did these cabinets, just the door face. Um, I'm going to paint the closet door and the two doors below that. And then I'll probably leave for the day. I've got a bunch of packing to do at home. I've got just a ton of stuff all the way around. I've got church work to do too, so I have a lot to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the living room is like almost 100% done. Not quite. It's just a couple little things we need to do. But it's almost completely done. I can actually start bringing stuff in and, and putting it in the cabinets um, and that kind of thing. Uh, start storing stuff eventually. So I th I'm trying to decide... <laughs> Whether I want to do the kitchen next or um, or the bedroom. The only reason, the kitchen would probably be smaller and easier to do. Um, but I, we've got some projects. We want to take that stove out. And I don't know how in the world we do that. Um, what is even back there? Because we don't want the stove in here. And we need an igniter anyway for it. And the oven is propane. Like I just don't want to mess with any of that. I would just would rather not mess with all that. And we didn't have... A stove in the airstream either we used um, a hot plate and we had our instant pot and a toaster oven actually and I think I'm gonna get an air fryer because I still have my instant pot and we don't even really want that I'd rather set my instant pot in that little cubby so if you have any ideas on how to remove that I don't have to YouTube that and see if I can figure it out so the only reason I really ain't doing the kitchen is because I still work out of the kitchen more I don't I really don't go in the bedroom so I could probably tackle that easier um, and we still need to make a decision about whether we're going to take this out or not. Um, it's kind of wasted space for us. So, um, probably am going to do the living room now that I think about I mean, the bedroom now that I think about it. But, yeah, lots of projects. Um, but at least I feel really good that, like, the living area is pretty much, um, pretty much done. For the most part. <laughs> the bathroom is kind of like the last thing I'll deal with because there's not that much that I have to do in there other than just put our stuff in there. Sean did clean it yesterday, so it's pretty much ready to go. Just, you know, hang a shower curtain and put our stuff in there pretty much. A rug. A very minimal work to do in there. Sean's going to tackle his room at some point. It might not be this week. It might be after chemo. So it might be next week or the week after. Sean's going to um, paint Harrison's room. It's really dark in there. The colors are really dark and it's kind of gloomy in there. So he's going to paint it um, Thomas Colors. And, um, so once that's painted, we can start moving a lot of Harrison stuff in here too. So yeah, that's, um, uh, that's what's going on. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to probably be gone for the day, uh, out of the trailer at least. And I got other stuff to do too. <laughs> All right, guys, that is probably it for this video. I'm trying to keep these videos short so they're not too, too long and, uh, easy to follow, but I painted the doors, um, over there and I'm, just go, well, I spackled the holes I'm not using and painted the doors. So now I'm just going to go put the door handles on and then I'll be ready to go. So if you like this video <clears throat> and you want to follow along with us in our journey in making this camper, it's a 29 foot, uh, 2006 KC Jag. Um, so if you want to follow us along and watch us transform this into our tiny home, uh, then make sure you click like and subscribe. Um, and just follow us on our journey. It's going to be a journey. It already has been a journey. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we come in the mornings. I come in the mornings and work cause it's cooler and, um, I'm able to get more done before it gets too hot. So, cause we don't have power yet. So yeah, make sure you follow us and, uh, and, and watch what we do and how we're going to turn this little thing into our home.
All right. I'll catch you guys on the next video and you guys have a blessed day. Bye.